able to look back on your life and say that was the time the great increase came into my life the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraught. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. We're going to be talking about, and I'm going to be speaking to, the great increase. Say the great increase. You know what great is, right? Did I say the little bit increase? I said the great increase and increase means more than where you're at are you here yes. and a lot of times to have great increase you must change you think you're waiting around for God to do something to increase you he's waiting for you to change and I'm going to show you how to do that Amen. are you willing to change yes. I am NOT the same person I was last year and I'm not going to be the same person next year Amen. watch out and you shouldn't be either especially when you're walking with God the Holy Ghost you have to change we go from glory to glory which means when you go to the next glory lots of times you leave the last one behind tonight I'm going to be talking about a great increase that comes from knowing the Holy Ghost as God and walking with him by speaking in agreement with his word a great increase I'm gonna call it the great increase say the great increase you'll be able to look back on your life and say that was the time the great increase came into my life are you here yes. in order to have this great increase you're gonna to have to embrace a certain word say embrace, embrace. a certain word a certain it's just one word but you got to embrace it if you don't embrace it you can't have what I'm talking about you can't go to this great increase say I want, I want the, great the great increase, increase. And I'm telling you this singular word makes all the difference I know it's made all the difference in my life third John verse 2 beloved I wish or pray above all things say all things. all things all things that thou mayest prosper is this in your Bible yes. well, I'm telling you if we're talking about it great increase it's gonna have something to do with that beloved I pray above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers is this good Yes, of course, because you can prosper and not be in health, and well, well, that's sad. How about prosper and be in health? Yes. Say prosper, prosper. And, be in and be in health. Is that in your Bible? Yes. Is that in your doctrine? Yes. Is that in your faith? Mm -hmm. Well, this faith believes these things. Amen. Are you here? Mm -hmm. I believe in prosperity. I believe in divine healing and health, and I believe in youth renewal. Now, there are three things. That are in this house say in this house. in this house and I preached on several messages on this in this house of faith where we believe things a little differently than maybe other houses of faith say other houses of faith, other houses of faith. you know what I'm talking about in this house of faith we believe certain things in a certain way and these things these three things are in this house say they're in this house say they're in my house, in my house. prosperity right. healing and youth renewal which is a close relation of healing because lots of times you don't need to be healed you need to have your youth renewed in that specific area did you hear that a lot of people are praying for healing and they're missing it because they don't need to be healed they just need their youth renewed in that particular area because that's how the sickness or the infirmity came on them renew its youth infirmity leaves say that renew its youth, renew its youth. infirmities leaves 
do we believe in youth renewal yes. it's in this house Psalms 112 verse 3 says wealth and riches shall be in this house you may have to change your mind to start thinking about that but it's on its way when you start saying it all these things shall be prosperity shall be say prosperity shall be, prosperity shall be. healing shall be. shall be youth renewal shall be, renewal shall be. where in this, in this house in your house in this house this house of faith are you getting it straighten up believe it say it well we think differently we talk differently and we believe differently than a lot of other people you understand that right and therefore we get to live differently that's a result of your thinking and your speaking and your believing call causes a different kind of living are you getting I'm just I'm trying to lead you up to a place we're going today because I have th some things to say that you know some people will get irritated at but you won't in this house of faith we worship the Holy Ghost we're a Holy Ghost worshiping house Amen. use the words I worship you Holy Ghost I was given them to use well what do you suppose that means you got to use them yes. right mm -hmm. I use those words use of those words has put me in a different house I'm just gonna say it like it is it can annoy people or not use of those words has put me in a different house of faith thoroughly scriptural but it's put me in a different house I'm telling you like it is I'm in a different house of faith I believe differently now same Bible different believing different thinking I'm gonna walk you through a lot of this but I was told to use those words and one of the reasons was I was supposed to go into this other house of faith when I started using those words it began to transform me and my thinking and my believing yes. made me different and I can tell you the story about you know how the angel came to me and told me to use those words but let's just look at this first Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 7 but the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all that's the king james version but the real meaning of this is the manifestation of the spirit whatever the spirit has manifested is for your profit it is to profit with we put the with all there and it makes it seem like it's something else it's to profit with all no, it's to profit with if being told to use the words I worship you Holy Ghost was a manifestation of the Spirit are you here mm -hmm. trying to hold your hand a little bit if that's a manifestation of the Spirit then the end result should be if I use them if I do what the word said I would profit with it there's profit attached to it say there's profit attached to it and these words as I'm using them I'm telling you it's my testimony I've been able to profit with the use of them I was given them I use them and I profit with them well is there any profit to it by saying I worship you Holy Ghost I'm telling you it will completely transform you from one faith into another I was not disobedient just like Paul said I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision I was not disobedient to that giving me those words and guess what I've been using them I use them personally and I've been using them in the ministry things open to you when you do it if you don't do it things close up for you and you get you go no further but when you're obedient and you obey what the Spirit of the Lord says to you you get to go forwards 
are you here well I was not disobedient I began immediately using those words and a lot of people didn't like it a lot of people hated it that's too bad but I'm being changed by it by the use of them I use them there is a progression to revelation if I don't do the first part that was revealed to me I don't get the second part I don't get it I not only don't get it I don't get it yes. so there's a progression to revelation I'm trying to lead you up to somewhere first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 4 and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration or showing of the spirit and of power who would the spirit be holy ghost, holy ghost and of power the power would be his power right. another way to interpret that is his words spoken and his doctrine was about the holy ghost and his power mm -hmm. say about the holy ghost, the holy ghost and, his and his power the doctrine and the preaching mm -hmm. the preaching of the doctrine that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men or religious things but in the power of god god who it would have to be the holy ghost that he just spoke about your faith should be and stand in the power of god the holy ghost my faith is in the power of the holy ghost my faith is in the power of the Holy Ghost where's most people's faith they're in the religious traditions of men because it sounds good well as I was meditating on this verse of Scripture and you can see I got a lot of revelation out of that verse of Scripture right oh sure that was all good but you also know that I've been using the words I worship you is this all right yes. I was using the words I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost and I'm being transformed I'm being changed from one thing to another from one glory to the next glory to the next glory we'll talk about that a little bit later but I've been being obedient and there's a progression to revelation and as I was reading this verse I heard this word only say only, only. and then not only not only happened with this verse but it began happening in verse after verse uh, guess the, some of the verses I'm gonna take you to yes. this this angel came up to me and said the word only and I knew it was an angel I'm not an idiot I've been around a long time say he's not an idiot he's, not an idiot. he's been around a long time okay long time. and so I questioned God I said what's what's up with this angel why does he keep saying this to me only you know I'm reading along and he goes only I read that he goes that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of God only wouldn't that make sense where should your faith stand in the power of God only so I was questioning God what's with this angel and and God said to me he speaks the word only he says the word only and I thought that was quite funny would it be okay that your faith stand in the power of God only yes. what other faith do you want my faith is in some of the wisdom of man and some of the power of God no. little bit of this little bit of that sounds like every church I've ever been in little this little that mostly that your faith should stand in the power of God the Holy Ghost only Amen. so my faith is in only say my faith is in only, faith is in only. are you am I, am I walking you up through this my faith is in only only what in only the power of the Holy Ghost who is God some people are gonna get this I'm talking about great increase if you can get this you can have great increase if you can't it might take you a little while to get here I worship you Holy Ghost only 
why would you say something like that because my faith is in his power only he is my faith are you here yes so not only do i use the words i worship you holy ghost i now use the words i worship you holy ghost only and the use of that word which has been revealed to me will take me farther i began being obedient to use the words i worship you holy ghost and then when i was given the word only i started using that word but i never would have had the word only if i wasn't obedient to the first revelation That's right. are you here yes. a lot of people are hearing this stuff for the first time and it sounds different i know it sounds different it is different it's coming from a different place it's coming from the room of holy ghost worship i use the word only now is it okay if this word has been revealed to me is it okay for me to use it yes. just like use the words i worship you holy ghost if i use that i'll profit by it if i use the word only i'll profit by it mm -hmm. use the word only only separates from other things this is going to be fun you got your seatbelt on or your helmet only separates from other things can you see this yes. if i say only what does that do it doesn't mean this certainly doesn't mean that it separates from other things only yes. say only. only only separates from other things it separates from other religious thinking mm -hmm. when you go here you have to stop going there when you go here to only you have to stop going it separated me unto this does that make sense yes. it separates your thinking it separates your beliefs you will look radical to other people because you've been separated you've been set apart only effectively removes other things from you this is gonna be good I hope you're holding on have you ever had have you ever left the emergency and break in your car on right and you drive for a little bit and you're like what is wrong with this i think i need a tune-up or something it's just not going the way and then you realize oh i left the emergency brake on and you take the emergency brake off and what happens the car goes you accelerate quickly say i accelerate, I accelerate. Quickly. quickly only is like taking the emergency brake off you're being held back by that religious thinking by that doctrine of man by the way they've all been doing it and now i'm only only effectively removes other things only effectively removes other things only consecrates and only sets apart what's it set apart to only well if our faith is in only the god and his power are you here is this fun yet yes. you want the great increase i'm telling you where it's at go to galatians i'm not making this stuff up i mean i hesitate i don't i don't hesitate as much as i used to but i, I hesitate to preach this thing these things because so many people aren't mm -hmm. but everybody's going around with their with their emergency brakes on yeah. and they want they get no acceleration people have been doing what they've been doing for 50 years and have never accelerated galatians chapter 3 verse 2 this what only. this only would i learn of you are, are you here this is paul writing to a church a new church that he's an apostle of and he says this only yes. was he using the word only yes. let's see what he said this only would i learn of you received ye the spirit is that in your bible yes. this only would i learn of you received ye the spirit mm -hmm. i know there's more to it 
received ye the spirit by the hearing by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith but what did he say he said this only would I learn of you received ye the spirit and we can see that this was his major thrust you go into Acts chapter 19 I think verse 2 where he found the Ephesians and the first thing out of his mouth he said have you received the spirit literally the first thing out of his mouth to these people have you received the spirit here he's saying this only would I learn of you received ye the spirit yes. he's the one who wrote that other verse we were just talking about my speech and preaching was about the spirit and his power well the fact is the Holy Ghost he is God in the earth today this only would I learn of you only separates only consecrates what would only be separating and consecrating to this only would I learn of you received ye the Spirit what would that be consecrating you and separating you to the Spirit only separates only consecrates some of you aren't consecrated is this fun yet Luke chapter 4 verse 8 thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve and him what only. him what only. only thou shalt worship the Lord thy God this is Jesus talking thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve who's the Lord God in the earth today the Holy Ghost thou shalt worship your faith should be in his power and thou shalt worship the Lord your God mm -hmm. and him only only serve if I'm only serving him I'm consecrated I'm set apart I'm separated unto him mm -hmm. only I worship you Holy Ghost only worship is key otherwise he wouldn't have said so thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only him only shalt thou serve well in this dispensation we serve the Holy Ghost are you here in this dispensation we serve the Holy Ghost say in this dispensation, in this dispensation we, serve we serve the Holy Ghost oh, yes. now according to that verse of Scripture if I serve the Holy Ghost who am I supposed to worship thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only serve if he's the one that I'm only serving then he's the same one that I'm worshiping this isn't too difficult you know it makes it difficult it's all your religious doctrine that's the break holding you back prove it go to go to one of your churches and say I worship the Holy Ghost you know what they're gonna say Arrgh! they're gonna try to pull back on your break tell you we don't do that here we don't worship the Holy Ghost to which I say you don't worship God who do you serve thou shalt serve thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only say only, only. serve do you see the word only sandwiched in that verse of Scripture did God just somehow forget what he was doing and put only in that verse of Scripture or were you supposed to listen were you supposed to be sanctified and set apart and separated unto only by that verse of scripture i think so if you will only serve the lord your god then you will only worship the lord your god are you getting this which means that separated you from a whole bunch of other things well i worship the lord my god and him only do i serve i worship you holy ghost only are you seeing where this word comes in yes. say I worship you, I worship you. Holy, Ghost Holy Ghost only and I'm telling you if you're hesitating at that 
you've got some of your brake on you know you can put some of the brake on there are degrees right there are degrees of your brake some I mean on one car I've got it in the middle with my hand my my uh, my parking brake and I'm always ready to grab it in case you know I got to do some kind of power spin or something my other car it's old school it's push it down with your foot you have to make sure it's all the way off yep. if you're having any hesitation by saying I worship you Holy Ghost only you have still got some of that brake on and it's holding you back and you're being limited from your great increase that's awaiting you mm -hmm. I worship you Holy Ghost only separated consecrated holy be ye holy for I am holy who says that holy. holy ghost he says I am holy ghost mm -hmm. separated is holy only is holy only is holiness mm -hmm. if you're not only you're some but not quite there yet mm -hmm. I'd say 99.999% of the body of Christ is somewhat but not quite there yet and that's why their break is on and they can't go to where I'm talking about right. use the words I worship you Holy Ghost only I'm telling you brother I've never heard anybody talk like this I know you're getting it now mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 17 verse 1 and after six days Jesus we know him right Jesus taketh Peter James and John his brother and brings them up into a high mountain apart verse 2 and was transfigured before them and his face did shine as the Sun and his raiment was white as the light and behold there appeared unto them Moses and Elias talking with him verse 4 then answered Peter and said unto Jesus Lord it's good for us to be here if thou wilt let us make here three tabernacles one for thee and one for Moses and one for Elias verse 5 while he yet spake behold a bright cloud overshadowed them and behold a voice out of the cloud which said this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased hear ye him are you here the voice out of the cloud coming from heaven said this is my son Jesus talking about Jesus said hear ye him and when the disciples heard it they fell on their face and were sore afraid verse 7 and Jesus came and touched them and said arise be ye not afraid and when they had lifted up their eyes they saw no man save Jesus only who'd they see Jesus. they saw the Father they saw the Holy Ghost no they saw Jesus only why did they see Jesus only and why did God say earlier he said hear ye him because this is the dispensation of Jesus when Jesus was on earth it was the dispensation of Jesus say when Jesus was on earth, when Jesus Jesus was on earth it was the dispensation, it was the dispensation of, Jesus. of Jesus in fact everything Matthew Mark Luke and John especially everything that Jesus did and said was not in this dispensation none of it are you here don't argue with me nothing Jesus did and said was in this dispensation it was in the, the old dispensation it was in the dispensation of Jesus yes. and God said hear ye him and who did God say hear ye him to the people that were alive in the dispensation of Jesus we would say yes the disciples but literally every person that was in that dispensation when Jesus was alive yep they were supposed to hear ye him yes. right yeah. but Jesus isn't here anymore is he we're not in that dispensation 
and then they looked around and they saw Jesus only say Jesus, Jesus. Only. only who were they supposed to be obeying when they were the disciples and they were with Jesus Jesus only say Jesus, Jesus. say only. only but this was not our dispensation were you alive then I don't think so this isn't your dispensation we're in a different dispensation what dispensation are we in the dispensation of the Holy Ghost Jesus went up in a cloud and shall return but until he does return he's not here who is here the Holy Ghost is here it's his dispensation who are who are we supposed to hear revelations chapter 2 now this is the apostle john having a vision of the lord jesus and jesus is talking that means jesus the resurrected jesus raised from the dead jesus is appearing to the apostle john and saying things yes. are you here yes. revelations chapter 2 verse 7 he that hath an ear to hear let him hear what the spirit saith to the churches what did the resurrected jesus say to john listen to what i'm saying listen to what i'm saying to the churches no he would have been out of order to do that because there is a god in the earth today and his name is the holy ghost he said listen to what the spirit saith to the churches right. look at verse 17 he that hath an ear to hear let him hear what the spirit saith to the churches look down at verse 29 he that hath an ear let him hear what the spirit saith go to revelations chapter 3 verse 6 he that has an ear to hear let him hear what the spirit saith to the churches verse 13 he that has an ear to hear let him hear what the spirit saith to the churches verse 22 he that has an ear let him hear what the spirit saith to the churches who saith who saithing things to the churches the spirit is and jesus said to listen to it yes. back in jesus's dispensation god said listen to him hear ye him hear ye jesus and they saw Jesus only in our dispensation hear ye what the Spirit says and him only yes. are you here am I making my case yes. I hope so I'm giving you enough to get there he the Holy Ghost is the only God in the earth today say the only God, the only God. are you hesitating on that take take some of that break off he the Holy Ghost is the only God I mean people don't want to hear that what do you mean he's the only God because Jesus isn't here That's right. at that time they were supposed to hear Jesus and saw Jesus only in our dispensation we're supposed to hear the Holy Ghost and see the Holy Ghost only yes. thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only Isaiah chapter 45 verse 5 for I am the Lord and there is none else there is no God besides me is it okay if the Holy Ghost were to say that yes. well you know he did he wrote that he comes into the earth he looks around from east to west and north to south and he goes I am the Lord and there is none else besides me wouldn't he be the only God mm -hmm. say the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost is the only God, he's the only, God. he's the only one in the earth mm -hmm. thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve where are you you're in the earth mm -hmm. well in its purest form I'm just gonna keep going on here in its purest form he the Holy Ghost is the only God deal with it hey send me hate mail I guess I don't care he's the only God in the earth you can look around look around 
there is no it's the same thing he did he looked all over and found no other god besides him mm -hmm. jesus wasn't here the father wasn't here they're both in heaven say only god only, god. only. use the word only i'm telling you use of the words only will remove that break take it completely out of the picture and you will have acceleration like never before Amen. take the brakes off the great increase listen the great increase comes from holy ghost only you want it some other way but it comes no other way there is no other god the great increase comes into your life from Holy Ghost only learn how to worship him and serve him he's the Lord your God you should worship him and him only and him only serve now don't look out there for the thing the great increase stop looking out there for the great increase the great increase begins on the inside of you first it takes place on the inside of you first you change and then the great increase begins to it begins to bubble up and manifest all around you it comes to meet you man i've never heard anything like this before that's because you've been stuck in the parking lot with your brake on second corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the lord the veil shall be taken away now the lord is that spirit veil taken away say now, now. The, lord the lord is where are we now we're in this dispensation where the holy ghost is god in the earth today only mm -hmm. only only now the lord is that spirit did he stutter and where the spirit of the lord is or where the spirit is lord there is liberty a kind of liberty or freedom that you can't have if the spirit isn't lord right. if the spirit isn't god but we all say but we all, we all. that's different that the we all isn't just southern folk the we all are people that have come through verse 17 where the lord is that spirit they've come to know him they now can have progressive revelation because they've received the first revelation but we all the ones who have that revelation of verse 17 with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the lord that spirit are changed into the same image from glory to glory to glory even as by the spirit of the lord or the lord who is that spirit we're seeing who who are we seeing holy ghost can you go from glory to glory if you're not beholding him according to that verse of scripture no but you can if you begin beholding him for who he is right. all right even as by the lord who is that spirit or the spirit lord the great increase begins here the glory of only you're not going to get there anywhere else or any way else every day worshiping the holy ghost every day speaking in agreement with his word every day walking with the living god the holy ghost who is god in the earth today and speaking in agreement with his word every day are you here yes no manifestation of the great increase yet in your life you haven't gone far enough many of the things i've said tonight made you want to put the brakes on you can't have any brakes on if you want the great increase but when the brakes are completely off and you've been untethered from those things that hold you back and the only one who is with you and with you and walking with you in the earth is the holy ghost the living god the only god in the earth today that's when he will begin taking you from glory to glory and all the glories are his you understand and you begin to see him in a way that you've never seen him before 
know him in a way that you've never known him before and people will just stand there with their mouth open not knowing what just happened but you've changed you've been transformed into a new person into a new way into a new glory you won't even recognize yourself but that's okay are you seeing the great increase there's a great increase if you haven't had it you haven't gone far enough only will take you there I'm telling you I'm just giving you the words I have literally I'm giving you the word I have been given yes. and the word is only mm -hmm. only will take you there where to the great increase say only, only. will take me, take me. There, there to the great increase there is a new manifestation of the Spirit to those who will go here and let him change you and walk in the fullness of that new manifestation as it begins to rest upon you let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you these people have heard and their ears have been opened to the new and even though it sounds strange at first it begins to make more sense than anything has ever made sense before and as you begin to yield up on that break and take it out by measure and degree you will begin to move faster and farther and further into the spirit with me says the Lord and I shall take you and this generation higher than any other has ever been it is a great day to be alive we worship you Holy Ghost we thank you for it in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I worship you I thank you that you are the only God in the earth today and you are the one who increases my finances and makes me a wealthy person I thank you for it in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand your God in the earth today.